All right, so the next site is a giftgenius.shop. It's a theme page for interesting products. Okay, main traffic, their main traffic source is from their TikTok. So let's open that up and let's see what we're directly missing with. So they're showing off a bunch of random products, again, utilizing colors and just random things that happen in your, in your day to day life. And just look at the crazy views that every single video is getting. So many gadgets here, a few Amazon products you need, a gift, a card USB, um, some type of uh, heat protector, some cool plastic bin opener, some swattering machine, some cool anti-closing or, or anti-opening machine, some cool random products um, that he just shows off or she shows off. And so this is a theme page called like Amazon must haves or Walmart must haves or um, product must haves or look what I found or what you should have or what every woman should have or what every man should have, etc. Just multiple products. And it, like again, a few Amazon gadgets you need and just constantly just shows off different products. This one shows off the temperature, which is really cool. A taco thing to hide your stuff, a water hydrator for your pets. Um, I, a, I think that was a dryer or something. I'm not sure, I can't hear it. Um, and then where do they land to? So person has a TikTok, this person, right? Or this company, and they have a TikTok page, right? And then it lands to a landing page and ultimately it's an affiliate site. So the AirTag wallet, if we click on it, um, it takes us to Amazon. And then the moment we click on this link, right, I'm gonna copy the link address and go onto a new private window and go on this link. There's code here, affiliate code here that gets stored into our cookies for a specific browser so that anytime I shop, regardless if I shop here, like shop this product or shop any other product on Amazon, they also get a cut from that. And if you continue to shop on Amazon for like 30 or 60 days or whatever, whatever you purchase within that time frame, they also get a cut by clicking on that link. So Give Genius makes their money that way. And ultimately they're probably getting sponsorships too to show off their product videos because they do a great job. And so ultimately this is just like a product review video demo um, that you, exploits and utilizes things that we don't normally see, colors, uh, textures, and you know, just weird things. Amazon products you must have. This is at the dollar store, you can buy it. I've seen it before. I actually have it literally right over there. Um, again, this video got what? 250K views. You can utilize these videos that he's doing for your product in a way like how he's creating the product how can it be utilized for your i don't know kitchen knife for your jewelry like multiple different cutscenes, utilizing different uh backgrounds um and then probably different sounds and stuff i can't hear what they're doing but again it's all the stuff that you can integrate into your own theme page uh slash uh your uh, sales marketing uh videos the next one we got is and by the way they also utilize uh, their instagram too and they've been out for a while they had an old version of their site and they've been crushing it ever since then they then we have a uh, kapowski it's a gemstone theme a page and i actually don't think they're even selling anything right now or they may have sold something i'm actually not sure i think they may have but i may i'm not 100 percent sure um Random video of him. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, this person posts or reposts content mainly about gemstones and, and rocks and stuff. And this is clearly not his content, but he reposts it in a way um, that people like. And it gets a lot of views. So ultimately, I would have a landing page selling like these type of crystals. They're like two to four bucks and being sold for like 30 to like $200. Um, that's our crystal jewelry like jade and stuff it doesn't have to be jade it could be various different other rocks it could also be things like um what's it called fossils uh these types of stones but in different types of because this is quartz there's uh i don't know i forget the names there's like 50 different other types of rocks granite etc that are shaped in these wands and stuff that people just love right this is another one this looks like granite and just look at the views it's getting consistently every single time um and then so yeah i would ultimately have a landing page here and just be like 
get your blessedstones.com right over here, right? And then the land page would just be selling these products. And I'm telling you, these products are pretty darn cheap and I purchased them before. Um, so I know this industry to a certain extent. Uh, so let's just say um, crystal wand. Um, I hope it's what we're looking for and not something NSFW. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Like these stones, this might be a ginormous one. Like look how big that is, uh, one kilo, insane. Um, but you can just get hand size ones. They're just like size of like, of like a half of a banana. Yeah, three to six bucks sounds reasonable and get some great lighting and they just look so cool. Okay, this is not the best lighting. So um, the photos don't look as good, but if you just get some awesome lighting, um, if you notice in the video it looks better, like look how cool that looks. Um, if you can really show off the, the shininess, the colors and etc. people just love this stuff. There's all this like religious astrologist stuff, things, I don't know, whatever voodoo stuff, right? Um, so like this, this looks pretty good. Um, again, three to six bucks being sold like 25 to like $300. Um, theme page, right? This is just a theme page, but it's something that you can utilize into your own, uh, videos or into your own theme page creation. Next one, we got ghost smoke shop.com. They sell lighters. So let's go on to that right now. Ghost smoke shop.com. Uh, various different lighters and um, simple, like look at their site. I, personally, I don't like this grainy banner and like this weird header over here. Just the colors don't match, but uh, their products look like Alibaba images to, to me. Um, very simple and, and I feel like it's not the best, but it's getting sales. I know they're getting sales because uh, on their TikTok, people are saying they want it and they're purchasing, they purchased it and whatever. So they have multiple different products. Let's say shop all lighters. Let's see what all, all different products they have. They got the ghost lighter, which like basically sticks onto your phone case and that's what got them viral. So they got like eight products and they probably just stuck with this in the beginning. Um, but they show off multiple different products in their TikTok videos. I, I think a lot of them are repost videos. So like it's other people's content and they added some text and stuff to it. So this is the product that they're selling, this. This is what's gotten viral. Um, Look at that, look at the views, 280. Um, so they're showing off their ghost again. Simple packaging, okay? This product probably costs like $1 plus five cent packaging, buy 100 or 200 units, and bam, you got yourself a branded billion dollar company, okay? <laughs> um, and then ultimately they just show off other like lighters and just mock them. Uh, this one got 500,000 views. My daughter wants one of your stupid lighters for Christmas. Um, Video is only like 10 seconds long. Man, this is the world's best lighter that sticks to your phone. Utilizing emojis. No, I'm sorry, you're rude. And I'm wondering if there's like something going on in the background in the, in the audio over there. Okay. Um, some ridiculous videos of the dance. These lighters, if you just take off the filter thing or like the thing that controls the amount of flow, it can go this ridiculously high. I don't, I don't know if they sell that though. Um, and then they just show up this thing. Um, so if you're selling a lighter or something like dealing with fire or like, uh, this is like a knickknack product. You don't really need it. Like, I don't think anyone needs this product, but if you're selling a knickknack product and you're trying to like, how do I sell this random product that people think it has a cool factor? It's not really that functional, but it works and it's cool and I can make it viral. What do I do? This is what I would do. You know what I mean? Like this video, why did this one get specifically more views? Why did you DM my husband? Because he won a free lighter. What he never entered any giveaway. And he just shows off all these different lighters that he probably owns. But ultimately, he only sells like eight. So it's like you can purchase like 50 cheap $2. These lighters are not expensive, like 2 to $5. Buy like 50 of them to make content with, but sell like six of them. Um, and uh, just use the rest as advertising content and, and being consistent. So ghostsmokeshop.com and just look at their product landing page. I kind of like this part of their website. Um, they got like little demo gifts going on and then a branded uh, video, oh, sorry, branded uh, photo image, another branded photo image and like raw and wildlife, you see the ghost smoke shop, you know? So that's pretty cool. 
um, utilize what they're doing, integrate it. Uh, and let's go off to the next site. We got XXL Scrunchie. They make handmade tailor scrunchies and now they're starting to sell like import products onto their stores too. So let's open up their TikTok and Instagram. I think the reason why I have all of them posted here is because I think she was actually doing pretty good on um, most of her platforms. Um, let's just see. So TikTok, 500,000 followers. It's like vlog videos in the life of their business, in the life of their product, how their product's being made, product demo videos of their product, product demos and videos of their product being used, third-party demo videos of them making a demo video, um, uh, being consistent again, showing off their company. It's very vlog-like. Uh, let's just check out her Instagram too. 116 followers, same kind of style, but more, shows more so the product um, rather than the vlogs. And then we got her YouTube channel, which talks about her company. And again, consistently posting not all the time, like almost every week or two, once a vi week of video, but just gets good amount of views over the long term, like insane. And then we got a Pinterest a little bit consistent, growing it. Uh, it's still posting on it, so that's good to see. Not crazy views, but growing it regardless. And then their beautiful website. Uh, very clean, very clean. I, I'm not a big fan of ginormous banners here, but regardless, it's their product that they have, so that just makes it a great landing page. I would have your product in the banner. Way too many people have ginormous banners, and it's not even their product, okay? So their product, and then ultimately, their product uh, display and like being shown in raw real life like a hand a real hand I always tell people get your product being used by real people and that's gonna draw attention and then we got a little about us with the family their collection in raw real life being used that looks really sweet again more of their scrunchies they got bundle packs going on and uh, more about their product and then more uh, raw displays of their product being used these are some really good photos and it's not that complicated to do this. Probably takes a day's worth with like two friends that can help you out, um, buy them dinner and like 50 bucks or you can pay the proper price or something, right? And uh, get a camera with some lighting and then boom. And then you got testimonials too. You can ask your, uh, your customers, be like, hey, get this free gift card if you just make a, a post, right? Give them some value so that they go out of their way to post a review more we got it used in like a wedding or at like some type of event i don't know like a bar mitzvah or something or bat mitzvah or whatever it's called um so look amazing landing page selling a simple product scrunchies and they click shop all i think they sell other products i'm pretty sure they sell uh, they sell other things because i was on this website um but i may have confused it for something else uh let's click shop uh, yeah, tops, bottoms, bags. So these are like new products. These are just pretty much imports at this point. So it's like you start off creating your own product, but ultimately everybody ends up scaling by importing or you know creating a factory or something, right? So you're not, you can't be one person making 5,000 shirts in one day. It's not possible. Um, so you're gonna be outsourcing. So this person has scaled from their scrunchy TikTok theme page to like shirts and all this other stuff and has like the whole family on it too. This is a seven figure business, seven figure brand if they sell it right now, if they wanted to more than that. Um, again, you can use their videos as reference points. Um, it's a very vlog style. I personally love the vlog style. It does incredibly well. They're just short and small, sweet videos. Like these videos are not that long, seven seconds long you know, while at their, work, at their work. Funny enough, I own this exact case right there. Just wanted to know that out. <laughs> Got it from Amazon. Um, uh, I just I, I just say that because I'm assuming if she has the same product and I have the same product, we both must be smart, right? Smart people have the same products. Um, uh, anyways, uh, so XL, XL Scrunchy, they made their own product and now they're scaling with import products, and but it's still their own designs and whatever. The site is simple. Look at the brand. Pretty simple. It's not over complicated. Uh, product photos are simple, right? Simple gets the job done. Shows off the product. Shows it raw. That's it. That's not over complicated. And simple names, right? Their names are not like Leprechaun, Green, Irish, uh, Scruffle, XXL, 
uh, Ciarin, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, right? Like none of those AliExpress or Amazon names, those names don't do well. You got to brand your names, give them just simple names so that people can just easily understand what it is, right? The neutral pack, the Valentine pack, the mini pack, right? The rivet, the rivet mini scrunchie pack. So, uh, use that as in terms of like how to style your branding simple, right? <laughs> uh, so the next one we got is the poofy shop cute kawaii products this is a pink theme product lately I, i've been um what's it called uh auditing a lot of sites using pink theme and they're doing such a bad job i'm like look at this site look how they're doing it this looks really nice simple funny enough white plus pink that's pretty much it and then different styles of pink and red uh they show off their product in their banner i really do like this banner because it shows off like it's like eight different products like I don't even know like 50 different products in this one banner. That's why I like it, right? They have their little pins over here their little keychain their backpacks their plushies I don't know if they sell this thing uh, All this stuff right multiple different products uh, And then they got exact photos of their products right here raw raw right like it's not really edited or anything and it's in a nice little cutesy display in a pink background um, so really really good job in their landing page and in their branding and the kawaii or the cutesy theme so that's their landing page beautiful now let's go on to their social media so they got instagram tiktok and youtube uh they have their links a little bit incorrect we'll just fix that up uh so i think they get most of their traffic on uh tiktok from what i recall yeah 880k that is insane and what kind of videos are they doing uh, so packaging customer videos product display videos and funny little cute videos along with TikTok trends and stuff and just being consistent consistency is key because look we got the 25k view and this video is still getting pushed by the AI uh, these videos I don't know if they're going to get views they may they may do eventually a couple months later like literally TikTok pushes videos randomly something you may have made four months ago doesn't get pushed until literally four months after this one got 150k views. Why did it get that many views? Not trying to be rude, but can you make me a video of what it can hold? And, oh, this is actually a pretty big backpack, so it can hold a lot of things. The backpack looks of great quality. It's very, very niche and tailored. Like if you saw someone wear something like this, it draws attention, it's unique, it gives flair. Because not a lot of people know this brand. This brand is in a way, let's say, exclusive, right? And I could see people wearing this stuff. This looks really cool, uh, really good quality and like look at the price points too medium ticket pricing plus cheap stuff like this stuff's just one two cents okay but like the backpacks and stuff this is great ticket items right 120 dollars. i think that's a fair price i've seen stuff like this being sold for 500 bucks so eventually her ticket price can get higher as more of the demand raises and the more exclusive she gets um or he gets i'm pretty sure this is ran by a woman though uh instagram page 132k followers youtube Again, it's like vlog style. She's just being consistent and just posting, okay? Some stuff, like you can just repost content from TikTok onto your YouTube and whatever. That, I do that all the time um, because I can't dedicate specific stuff for specific channels. Sometimes you can, but just being consistent on one channel is good enough and then just reposting is, what's it called? Triple, triple thumbs, okay? Triple thumbs, I only got two though. Um, so again, you can utilize and use her website and her TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, especially her Insta uh, TikTok, as a uh, reference on how to get started selling cute stuff. This is a huge niche selling cute things, okay? The kawaii niche, uh, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but like, again, look at the videos, like this video, 400k views. Be careful, that mold doesn't develop on the inside. It came out very wet, so of course I had to throw it in the dryer. So the, I think she's just showing that you can wash it and you can get it wet and nothing bad will happen to the product. Um, so I don't know, just funny. It's a funny video showing off the product and you can clean it or whatever. Packaging video or her company moving or whatever. Uh, 50K, I would like that 50% refund. What is your worst customer experience? Last year, I got an email from a customer who ordered just a company video and it can be fake too you can just make drama up right like <laughs> into your videos um so again use her videos as reference points for selling cute stuff all of this stuff can be easily reverse engineered and integrated for your own business 
let's go off to the next site. We got Paris Alden. Um, they sell jewelry and they sell like niche countries that you don't rarely see in Western stores. But they are now like, you know, a lot of people from these backgrounds are living in these cities in these countries and they want, you know, their countries or their cities or their provinces uh, represented. And this individual sells that niche product like no one else is really selling a Turkish, African, Kurdistan, uh, I don't know, Balkan pendants. They're hard to find here. Um, so she's doing this and just shows off these pendants for these different countries and designs them and then gets them, you know, printed out. And they probably cost like a dollar to be made. It's stainless steel, I think. Uh, so stainless steel is not that expensive. So a dollar, two dollars maximum um, and being sold for like 25 bucks, which is still a cheap price, $29. I think she could eventually jack up the price and make it better like 14K gold and sell it for like $200. She's using raw photos of people wearing the product, you know, um, the actual product over here. Great, great landing page if you're selling jewelry. Great example of niche jewelry. Like look at that Caribbean. What countries in the Caribbean is she targeting? Probably like Jamaica, Guyana, right? Um, some of them have like that painting in it. And then some of them are just raw metal. Like these are such niche items. And um, you don't even need to make that many, I bet. She can probably, you can probably get away with making like 10 or 20. And you know, twenty dollars down. You bought, you sell one of these. You already sold twenty dollars worth wholesale price of these, uh, these pendants. Okay, so incredible website. Use this website for selling jewelry. Look how like this person's a young person. Uh, doesn't really have much product to offer and messaging. All of her selling is done through TikTok. But again, that's something that would integrate later. But this person's already crushing it right now without, you know, let's say integrating SEO or integrating paid ads. I don't think they're even doing paid ads. I think they did because I did write it down here. So I'm pretty sure they are um, since I wrote it down. <laughs> I did check these. But look at the views. 2.5 million views. African um, like pendants. Video that you can easily integrate maybe in a different niche or in the same way. Uh, into your product or jewelry or whatever that you're selling. Um, insane, right? So pendants, beautiful website, uses uh, uh, TikTok to get a huge attention to a target audience that no one's really targeting. Um, so massive money to be made over here, okay? <laughs> like massive money. Uh, the next, all right, so the next one is dbljewelry.com. Uh, I think I messed up. I wrote a theme page for uh, interesting products. I don't think that's the case. Let's go on to their Instagram and uh, TikTok. Um, sorry, their, their TikTok page is right here. Um, so they have like their own uh, business TikTok and they have their like their portfolio, like their, their own profile, sorry, profile on Instagram and they got their TikTok page. Um, this is like their company slash uh, own uh, profile page. And this woman's crushing it in her views. She does a lot of vlogs and explains her jewelry on her videos. Um, again, I would integrate her style into the video um, and how she, what she's doing to draw attention. She also utilizes colors. Like her hair is a different color her eyes, um, her jewelry, like those are just colors that you can add, right? Um, her hand and the green colors that draw attention, the gold, the shininess, the blue fingernail, like these are all things you kind of have to factor in when you're making your TikTok video on how they're getting so much attention. Because a lot of people be like, well, she's just showing off her product. And then what they do is like get, be in a bland room and then be like in a bland lighting and then just be like, look, this is my video. I'm not getting views, Mike. Well, I'm like, did you reverse engineer anything or did you just look at the individual and be like, well, they made a TikTok video and that's what I'm gonna do. No, you gotta reverse engineer like pretty much everything what they're doing in a way. Uh, like how the shots are being taken, like how the close-ups going in and out, like the different, you get what I'm trying to say, the different snapshots in these scenes. Like every time there's a new scene every couple of seconds, there's subtitle text, there's some audio happening, right? So integrate all that. Sometimes the hashtags matter. Sometimes the comments uh, that people are posting and you commenting matters. 
okay? So you gotta integrate all those things and then you will have a successful TikTok. Again, it takes some time. This person didn't get it overnight, but look, they have a multi seven figure business operating right now at a very, very young age. That's very, that's like, you know, congratulations right there. Um, a lot of people don't have that at all. And the amount of effort that she's putting in is 10 out of 10 effort. But the same, uh, same amount of effort that you were, that you were to put in into your nine to five job isn't going to come out any way in this shape or form that she's doing for her business right now. So she's a great example of selling uh, DIY jewelry or like her own designer jewelry. And I think her prices are not nuts. Uh, I don't think it's like a 500 or $200. Like she's on the medium to low, uh, sorry, let's say medium uh, high on the low end side, if that makes any sense. Like 50 to $200 is medium low, uh, sorry, medium low end or medium to high low end jewelry because jewelry can go up to like 20K. Okay, if not higher than that. But still, $150 to $200 ticket is high ticket for B2C in the e-commerce world. So she's doing good ticket items. She's making good money. Like I said, this is a multi seven figure business and look at her site, so simple. She's not overcomplicating it. It's simple brand name, uh, simple everything. Uh, it's her, she's the model herself. Um, you know what I mean? Like use your own face as the model. Make yourself look nice and take a photo uh right raw raw photos of the product being used like she's not nothing is being overcomplicated. you just got to put the effort and you put the effort you get the results you get the six thousand reviews again most people don't leave reviews so this is probably six million in sales or something ridiculous okay she's gone already so many sales so multi-million dollar seven figure brand that you can easily replicate right now reverse engineering i pretty much gave you everything that you can do right now for your designer jewelry. And if not, use it for any other business on TikTok right now. So she's doing a great job. She's using three social media pages, two on Instagram, one on TikTok, okay? Uh, DBL jewelry, just insane results. And you see the simplicity in it. It's not complicated. Someone just needs to show you and that's basically the gist of it. And obviously be, be, being part of the Facebook group and talking to me and me showing you exactly like, hey, this is what they're doing this is what they're doing, then this is what, you know, this is what you need to do. This is what they're doing on their TikTok. They're, you know, on their nails, they're on their hashtags are the, the snippets that they're doing. Um, I would say ignore. So yeah, what they're doing. And by the way, this page, I, I made a mistake over here. Um, but ultimately she's doing like a lot of vlog videos, uh, value giving videos, showing off her product videos, uh, in-person model plus product videos okay she's really showing off the product if you're selling accessories probably the best way to do it is to show off the product on a real life person okay that's probably the best way to get real results real quickly all right so let's go off to the next website